It's finally time to get back into making videos and I figured why not get started and today I'm going to be making a giant battlefield with a sentinel guardian as kind of like the overseer of this dead battleground. So I started out by carving a strange hole in the middle. I wanted to keep it somewhat forerunner, but I wanted to make it so maybe sentinels or other things lurking down below, like maybe flood and maybe a place for sentinels to come up on the surface. But then I just took this white piece of foam that I cut out of some pink panther foam as well, just placed the white foam on top and then I carved around the white foam and I figured this would be a great size for this diorama. Very big, probably one of the bigger dioramas I've done in quite some time, so I was super excited for this. Then I had these little pieces of foam that I carved out and these are going to be snow hills so I'm going to be using Liquitex gel later to make really nice snow texture. But I didn't want to break the bank and use a ton of Liquitex gel so I just made some hills. Now we're going to be making some stone pillars. I wanted this to have a Halo 2 inspired kind of design. We're going through the first ring levels, so these are going to be some Forerunner stone pillars that are here. Use a tinfoil ball to rough them up and make them feel old and look stone textured. Really cool trick that I've learned and it definitely is a little hard on the fingers after a while but it works and looks really good in the end. After that I also did some damage all along these stone pillars. They've been here for quite some time so let's mess them up a lot. And I also added some more snow hills. The Covenant were trying to defend this place pretty strongly for quite some time, so they had some shade turrets set up. This was a very important area for them to try to grab this holy artifact. So now this is going to be the inside of the shade turret. I had to carve it out. This is very time consuming and a little bit hard, but I got the job done, took my time, was very careful with my blade. And then I cut off the back and then added on another little piece to just get the proper shape for the shade turret. I haven't made shade turrets in quite some time, so it was a little bit tricky uh, kind of getting used to making two of them again, but I think they turned out pretty good for what I needed them for. added on the front gun and started putting on just a little bit more detail all around to make it look a little better and cut off the areas for when they're going to be stuck in these snow hills. And then I'm just going to be doing some paint. So I needed this pink panther form to look white and I wanted to change up the white a little bit and make it a little bit of a stronger white. And then I did ray on this little hole. So I just did these stone bricks with some black paint. And then I also did a base coat of black on pretty much everything. I wanted everything to be very strong in their colors and not have any foam leaking through. So base coat of black on everything.
and then I did a red on pillars. I wanted to make them red and uh, just a little bit different than some of the other colors that I have used. And I like to kind of experiment with colors and just see what's fun and what I can kind of use for future projects. Then we're doing a base coat of gray paint onto there and a few sentinels that I made on stream a while back. Uh, I'm going to be doing a base coat of gray on those. And then we're getting to the shade turrets with a base coat of purple. After that was done, I applied on a glossy purple, like a little bit more of a higher quality paint, and that looks really good. Now these are rocks from the outside that I just, you know, cleaned a little bit, and then I'm just gonna be gluing them right down onto this diorama. And I've actually been using these rocks pretty recently in a few other dioramas. placing down literally all the other parts of this diorama and it's starting to really come together. I have a great subscriber named Commander Vexer who always helps me with some figures and he sent me these to use in whatever I wanted and I figured it would be a perfect time to use them in this diorama. So thank you Commander Vexer, I appreciate it man. And also going to be using some cheap marines that I got off eBay. And I'm sawing them up real good. I wanted to make some crazy uh, death effects for these figures and just make it look absolutely insane. I wanted this battle to look nuts in just a ton of gore going on. Then I'm gonna be using green stuff on the inside of these places that I pretty much cut in half and these are gonna kind of be like the guts, the inner part of the figure and it looks really good and it's really simple. It's pretty much just like making my old flood figures and it was super fast and it looks great. Then I also did it on this elite as well for his guts and ooh. I used a lot of my different skills that I've been learning along the way on this project to really make it something special for you guys. Then we're just gonna be using some red paint on the figure and uh, going over all the blood. So I wanted to make them really bloody, really messy, and I did that to all the figures that I cut up and anyone that had any damage on them. Also gonna be doing it on the brutes. The brutes are getting some red blood. Thought that looked good. And then the elites getting some purple. made this little grunt. Poor guy. And then I started placing down all these figures. Now we're going to be using some liquid text gel and this is going to work for the snow in the area so all of this area that is white which is going to help us a lot because now i don't have to use as much liquitex gel going around in all the white areas and trying to make it look like a snowed battlefield Then we're adding blood everywhere for this giant battle. Also add a little bit of snow on the Guardian. And 
then I place the guardian in place on one of the stone pillars. And that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed.